Richard Arnold is here with all the showbiz news. I am indeed loving the new syrup, love. Do you like I it? I love that, Barnet. Is it a bit mutton? It's like the end of the Northern Line. Hi, Barnet. You can't go wrong with it. <laughs> now. <laughs> I think I may be having a midlife crisis, just to warn you all. There'll really? be a lot of hormones going on. Still, that's optimistic. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Anyway, I've got some Strictly news for you. Much speculation, of course, about uh, the 10th outing. A decade of Strictly, who knew? Um, a decade of Strictly, um, much speculation about the... Uh, Contestants who are taking part, yes. the likes of Victoria Pendleton, of course, gold medalist. Mm. We've got uh, Jerry Hall, apparently, also rumoured to take part. Well, here exclusively for you, we have the full lineup <gasps> of this year's contestants. Well, actually, it's not the full lineup, but I've got to keep my new bosses over at the auntie <laughs> on, on their twinkle toes, so to speak. Right. Yes, I am to take to the dance floor. No I way. am no going to be in this year's Strictly Come Dancing. The Sun <laughs> won the story today. Anyway, it was in the papers this morning. For those of you who haven't woken up to that news, yes, I am taking part. Are you it's mad? Like a, it's a showbiz call to arms. I had to do it. Brucey called. You would be brilliant. Oh. You, uh, your life will change forever. I well, I went that. to the costume fit, and, and frankly, those costumes cut in places that are hugely inappropriate and hardly do. Do, you know you know what, do you know what happened to you? The first week I had my first co costume fitting, I went, I'm never wearing anything like this again. By week five, you say, can I have it a little bit shorter and maybe <laughs> a bit with more diamonds? <laughs> and a do few you know, more I remember writers. that. So what oh, there was you this, are. Alice? Was that the first I'm the one on the right, by the way. <laughs> I'm hoping Beautiful. that's going to be me on the left by week five. <laughs> <laughs> and Kate, of course, I can imagine your leg going up like that once, and <laughs> then you'd be stuck there, wouldn't you? Absolutely. Oh, look at that. Oh, with, with Anton. Oh, look at me the there. BBC said, who would so be your young. preferred partner? And I did say Anton, someone with a good sense of humour and a firm <laughs> hand, but apparently the programme hasn't moved that far forward yet. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, on the subject of you Strictly... You and I danced together. Do you remember we did Let's Dance for Sports Relief? Really? You were good. We did. He's good, folks. I, well, He's going to... I think you're going to be a little secret weapon No, as, as Danny Zuko, I was described live on air at the BBC proudest moment of my life as a tubby shaking Stevens opposite <laughs> your sand. Bad. It wasn't ideal. You're looking forward to it. On the subject of Strictly, here's where the shameless canvassing starts. All okay. right, for Sir Bruce Forsyth, I may be the first to fall on the sword of a knight of a realm. Uh, the 84-year-old now holds a Guinness World Record as the man with the longest career as an entertainer. His on-screen career spans an impressive 72 years. So well done, Sir Brucey. Look forward to seeing you, and I mean that.